Today we're going to be showing you how to change the oil on the Audi Q5. This one is a 2014 and it's a 2.0 turbo. There's also a 3.0 turbo and there's some kind of diesel. But today we're going to be showing you how it's done on this one. It might be pretty close, but this is the one I have to change the oil on. My oil light turned on yesterday. Well, notification said that the oil is low. First of all, it's due for uh, service. Um, also, the light came on. The oil light is low. Now, the problem with this car, I don't know if all of them don't come with it, but the Audi Q5, since it has um, an oil lever, electronic oil lever, and it actually notifies you if it's low, and somehow you can go into the settings and actually see how low and how, what's your oil level. I'm not used to that. I'm just used to taking out your dipstick, checking if you have how much oil you have, and you can add it if you, if you don't, or if you don't need to. Now, the first time I was trying to see how much oil I have, when I got the car, I'm trying to see, is this, does it need an oil change? How does the oil look? I can't find a dipstick. I'm not kidding you, I was spending like 15 minutes until finally I'm like, dude, I gotta go on, on Google and just try to see where the heck the oil dipstick is. Now, the oil dipstick is, I'll show you up closer. So, taking off the oil cap, this cover kind of pops off, I assume, I don't see any screws. Here's the oil uh, filter, okay? This is, where's your, oh, there you go. This. I was looking around for oil dipstick. I'm looking to the left, right. Couldn't find it before. This is where the oil dipstick, now this is a cap. I'm not gonna pop it off because I don't have the oil dipstick yet, but this anyway pops off and that's where the oil dipstick goes in. Now that threw me off because it's secure. It didn't look like anything um, until I found out on Google that that's where the oil dipstick is. It doesn't come with it because it has an electronic measuring device. The other thing, this 2.0 Audi, it takes a specific oil viscosity, which is a five, where is it? Right here. It's a 5W40. I'm gonna remove the oil cap so the air goes in. It's easier for the oil. Remove the oil cap. Might as well. Ah, yep. It just pops off. Has these little one, two, and uh, those just sit in. They sit right off. So here you go. Oil. I mean the uh, engine cap. Now. I'm also gonna just unscrew the oil filter. Also. So, I'm gonna unscrew the oil filter, see if anything starts coming out of it. Now, the thing I also check for is make sure there's a rubber seal on usually every oil filter that I've seen so far. This one's really embedded, it seems like it would be hard for it to stay on there. But I always just double check, make sure you don't have two oil seals, so the old, old oil seal is not stuck on the engine. Uh, where the oil filter goes on. So if you screw it on and you have two oil filters, it can twist and now you have a gap and you can lose a lot of oil. That's good. Now we can continue lifting up the car. All right, so let me show you what's underneath. And see, I gotta say, this Audi would be very easy to work on. Everything has so much extra room. <laughs> this is, this is actually amazing. This is really, seems like it's very easy to work on. Transmission just being held by a couple, one big aluminum bracket. Look at that, look how much room you have. You can stick your hand all the way from the bottom out to the top. That's amazing. This is the big front lip removed. Now this one I was gonna remove. I started removing, I put it back on because that's where the transmission uh, drain would be if you need to know that as well. The engine is right here, right under that front one. Yeah, there's a bunch of screws. So this one is a, look what kind of bolt it is. Yeah, G45, let me just show you. Bang, do this, we'll loosen it. Oh wow, they tighten that. There you go. So, now what we want to do is get this handy dandy. I mean, not everybody would have this set up. I understand. But I'm just going to show you how to do it with my setup, which is pretty easy. Set it, you know, <laughs> set it and forget it, get it? You set the drain, you unscrew it and then forget it. All right, guys. Now, look at that. This is 10,000 miles. It is black. See this? Oh yeah, these are really nice shop paper towels. You just hang them on the corner. This was hanging upside down, but it's empty. I got some more over there, but guys, those are awesome. So I'm gonna put this here. This is very 
Very nice. Well, let's release the beast. Oh yeah. So this, while it's draining, it does have a, uh, it looks like a copper washer to create a nice seal. So yeah, the, <laughs> this is the, the main reason guys, while we're, why I'm actually recording the video, is to show you pretty much how to do the oil change as we both learn on this specific car and to find out what the heck does low oil mean. Now when it says low, you have to fill it up. Do not fill more than one quart it says, but you can still drive. Well, I wanna know what is low. So next time if it says low, I'm gonna know not to panic and run to the nearest gas station to dump in any kind of oil just as long as we have a good oil level. Now it does seem like we had quite a bit of oil in here. We're gonna let this thing drain. And then we're gonna fill it back up into the original bottles and we'll see exactly how much we got. So we're gonna move this out of the way. Wipe this down. And I'm assuming we're just gonna give it about uh, 15 pounds of that's about right. No, I'm just joking. I don't know what 15 pounds is. You don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want to make it loose. So you just kind of feel it by hand, I guess. We did all of this. Now it slips in. All right, that's good. Look at that. Everything is back. These are back on. Let's lower it. Here's the oil seal. So I just take some of that oil that's right on it and I just put it on so it has a, a nicer seal. So when it's, when it's tightening, it's not curling up. So it's sliding on the oil. That's a, what I assume they want you to do, why they ask you to do that, if it's really thin. But this one's pretty thick, so I don't think that's really necessary. But the filter on this one, this is a mobile one. This is extended performance, protects for up to one year or 20,000 miles. I'm not sure if that's healthy to do it 20,000 miles, but it's a M1-404A. High efficiency, high capacity. But it looks like the same size as the one I took off. I think, I don't wanna forget this. Now you don't really have to tighten these really hard. Even if you don't tighten them hard, for some reason you can never take them off. It's hard to take them off by hand after. Now, I'm just gonna hand tighten this one. Even though I can't really get a good grip on it. So the oil filter's on. Let's dump in five quarts. I'm just gonna put five quarts. It says four points, seven, eight, or eight, six. Like it's almost a four. But since it, it, it took a little oil within the 10,000 miles. I'm just gonna pour it all in. So, first, you have to put on this. So now what we're gonna do, let me show you what do they actually mean by low oil. We're gonna make a little, all right, let's fill one at a time. Good news is I didn't wait too long after that oil changed, oil like uh, came on saying that it's low. When it said low oil, you can still drive. Don't add more than one quart. That's what the message comes on. If we added one quart, we'd still be a half a quart short, which is not too big of a deal. But I guess in 10,000 miles, if I didn't overfill these bottles to how much they're supposed to have, because that would increase the amount that we have in the fourth one, we have three and a half quarts out of five that's supposed to be in there. So we're at quart and a half short. 
Not too big of a deal, but still not the best thing for your engine. So that's what it is. That's how we change the oil. Main reason is to find out what does low oil mean when the light comes on. Well, as soon as it came on, it showed me, well, after I did the oil change the next day, quarter and a half, if I'm correct, on all these measurements, which is pretty close. At least a quart, but a quart and a half. There you have it, go, uh, folks. If your oil light turns on and it's low, you can kind of approximate or assume that it's around a quart and a half. I'd recommend that to anybody to get a manual dipstick because nobody, unless you're really tech savvy and you know how to check in there in if it's accurate on the electronic oil level system that they can provide. I'm not sure if they how accurate it is and how you actually work it, but oil dipstick is what I ordered and that's what I'm gonna use to measure and double check. And I get to pull out and try to see what kind of uh, consistency the oil is. Is it really dirty, dirty, you know, not dirty? I'm pretty sure that the computer can't sense that. Um, it just knows oil level. So, that's it. Either way, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you need to know how to reset your oil, uh, either maybe I'll be making another video after I end up doing it, going for all the settings, but you can do it through the manual or just go and Google and check it out.